Now, there are some idiots going around the internet claiming that the angles to Polaris proves a basketball earth. Au contraire, mon ami. Actually, it proves the opposite. It proves a flat earth. And I will show towards the end of the year, uh, under this video, how it works on a flat earth and doesn't on a ball earth. They claim that the first person to create a globe and then incorporate parallels and meridians was Eratosthenes. Yeah, that's right, that guy who measured the distance to the sun and the circumference, circumference of the earth using two sticks on the ground. It says he created the first global projection of the world, incorporating longitudes and latitudes. No, he did not. All he did was create a perfect sphere and divided it equally. He knew that a circle must equal 360 degrees. Just listen to this uh, entry in Wikipedia. Eratosthenes' method to calculate the Earth's circumference has been lost. What has been preserved is the simplified version described by Cleomedes to popularize the discovery. And look at the, uh, the diagram on the, on the right. Underneath the, the caption reads, Measure of Earth circumference according to Cleomedes' simplified version, based on the wrong assumption that Syene is on the Tropic of Cancer and on the same meridian as Alexandria. Am I reading Martian or is it English? It's crystal clear that Eratosthenes is bollocks. I don't think he even existed. Cleomedes assumes that the distance between Syene and Alexandria was 5,000 stadia. He assumes the simplified but false hypothesis that Syene was precisely on the Tropic of Cancer saying that at local noon on the summer solstice the sun was directly overhead. He assumes the simplified but false hypothesis that Syene and Alexandria are on the same meridian. So as you can see it's, it's all a lot of bollocks. They attribute so much to Eratosthenes. Under the heading Eratosthenes method, it says Eratosthenes method was actually more complicated, as stated by the same Cleomedes, whose purpose was to present a simplified version of the one described in Eratosthenes' book. That is a contradiction because under the heading works, the last paragraph, re uh, the last sentence reads, Unfortunately, there are only fragments left of his works after the destruction of the Library of Alexandria. So how the fuck do you know he did anything? This is all bollocks. It's like uh, when you research Pythagoras or Aristarchus or Hipparchus, they make a disclaimer at the end saying, None of their own work exist. So these characters could all be uh, made up. This map shows the, uh, the known world at the time of uh, Eratosthenes. You can see uh, Europe, uh, the Mediterranean Sea, and Northern Africa with uh, Arabia, and the, the furthest east they'd go is India. So, what Eratosthenes did was uh, 
was not really scientific because he didn't know anything about the world that he lived in at the time. It wasn't until the invention of the sextant that real oceanic explore exploration began. This is Sir Edmund Halley, yes, he of the Halley's Comet. He was a member of the Royal Society and later to become the second Astronomer Royal after John Flamsteed. Halley is credited with charting many stars in the Southern Hemisphere. And this gave the British, uh, British Navy an edge because up, and up until the, um, the invention of the gyro compass, they used star charts for oceanic navigation. So with this new Southern Hemisphere star chart, the, the British began to have an edge over the others and this is how the British Empire came to be. They quickly had dominance over the ocean and they charted passage to New Zealand and Australia. So the British had the edge. And don't forget the, their patriotic song. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Sir Edmund Halley has been credited with doing much work on, uh, on longitudes. But the problem was that he believed the earth was a basketball. Now the ball earth Decepticons will use a diagram similar to this to deceive you because they will use the red lines and present it as angles to Polaris but of course that is wrong because as you move further away the star should lower towards the horizon uh, as shown by the green line so this can only happen on a flat earth if the earth was a basketball then as you move towards the equator the star will be obstructed by the curvature of the earth so from the equator the most you would see would be up to point b it would be impossible to see polaris from near the equator it can only happen on a flat earth so we have to expose the globe lies the earth is flat and stationary